that night was, was special. It was you know, groundbreaking for the time. You don't forget that game and remember it as clearly as if it was yesterday. It's another six, another six. I can call it as soon as you see the swing of the bat. Take a bow, Graham Napier, fantastic batting. The way he was playing that day, it was just absolute brutal. Absolutely brilliant. Stunning performance from Graham Napier. He finishes 152 not out. I didn't ever set out to, to hit an in innings like that, didn't even probably think it was capable of doing it. But then when things just kept happening and, and the ball kept disappearing. Going into that game, it was sort of almost a blank canvas just to go out there and have fun and express myself. It was a special night. It'll go down in history as one of the great nights at, uh, at Chelmsford. You always felt he was the magic man who, who could stir something up and he was that enigma that you could turn to and, and invariably made something happen. I remember watching him bat to begin with, I thought, oh, you know, maybe today might be his day, and ultimately it was. There's always nerves going into an innings. If there isn't nerves, you're worried. I remember specifically just going out there and facing quite a few balls, really, before I got going. I had a, quite a slow start. I think I only had about 10 runs off about eight balls or something like that, and I hit one shot and suddenly everything clicked into place and the run started flowing. Where's this going? Oh, that's going for more. Six more. He can do no wrong. It set the place of night. It set the tone for Essex County Cricket Club in T20. The crowd were going berserk. They'd never seen anything quite like it. And then all of a sudden there was a buzz in the air. We all started looking and watching what was happening. He wasn't just pushing them over the line. They were clearing it by 40, 50 feet. Every ball seemed to be coming off the middle of his bat and disappearing into the nearby haze close. I remember a lot of balls going over into those houses behind me, and I think a few went over the stand into the river. And at one point there, we were struggling for spare balls. The thing in the score box at that time was a little side bet on where the next six was going to go, because it wasn't a question of if he'd get another six, but where it would go. Oh my <laughs> Lord, watch out. <laughs> Just Tuesday evening, you're in your garden, having a quiet glass or something, and that comes over. 60-year-old man climbing a fence uh, to retrieve a ball. A man's a box of fox. It's a bumble. Two in <laughs> there we go. That's the record for number of sixes in a 2020 innings. Ten of them. I had absolutely no idea at that point. I was just having fun. Tendo, it came out and I, he mentioned something about a record and it just went straight over my head because I had no idea what he was going on about. It was a very different game to now, you know, scores of 200 were unheard of. For someone to get a 100 and a big 100 like Napes did, it was you know, groundbreaking for the time. Par score would have been about 180, um, so to sort of then get going and keep going uh, was just one of those, those moments uh, you get as a team where you think, wow, this is brilliant. <laughs> it was quite funny because I was on the sky, I had the earpiece on, and they had just come in and they said to me, oh, you know, what, what do you reckon? 150, 140 would be nice. We'll see. We'll see too. I mean, I thought at the halfway point, I thought they might get 150, yeah, over 200 was far too many. <laughs> Ronnie Irani. What a brilliant innings. Napier punches the air. It was one of those moments you sort of don't know what's going on. You're in such a daze, people are all coming up and sort of uh, slapping you in the back, congratulating you. It was a, a, a strange, surreal moment in terms of cricket, but you know, at the end of the evening it was sort of trying to keep perspective on everything um, and uh, sort of not get carried away. When I was coach of Essex, I did say to him once that I wanted to go in there and keep every ball on the ground, OK? See if you can keep every ball on the ground. Well, he got off the mark with a six. <laughs> so I thought I'd stop my intervention then and let him play the way that he, he played best. There's quite a few people who say, don't think, Graham, because it doesn't help. <laughs> See ball, hit ball, very simple philosophy, and it worked that night. There was no one better, really, to be out there writing the history books. People talk about Essex. The name of Graham Napier still crops up even today. I mean, Napier's always had that magic touch, and he, with the ball, with the bat, he used to do exceptional things. In terms of my cricket, it, it did relaunch my, my career to, to an extent. It gave me that self-belief that wasn't necessarily lacking, but uh, just the belief that you can do these things, you can have innings like this, you can bat like that and be successful. That one 
mum behind me. I'll never forget that night and, and don't want to. That was, that was one of those moments that was very special to me.